Welcome to Let's Build a Willy's Jeep. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the transmission lever boot retaining ring, the transfer case lever retaining ring, and the transfer case shift lever boot, and the transmission shift lever boot. And they are installed using these eight pan head screws. And there's four screws on each of these rings and they will be installed onto the transmission shift tower and the transfer case shift levers and they will be located right here where these four holes are on the transmission there's also four holes located back in here where the retaining ring will be installed on the transfer case the first step is to take off the knobs on both the transmission lever and the transfer case levers and they just screw off like that. And also with the transfer case levers, you just screw them off. They come off like a normal bolt or nut. The first step is to install the shift lever boot for the uh, transmission. We're going to work on the transmission shift tower first. You have to make sure you put on this first, and then the retaining ring goes on top. So you just slide on the boot onto the shift tower and just slides on like that. Make sure you have the knob off because otherwise it makes it very difficult to get the uh, boot on. And now you will get your retaining ring for the transmission. And it's this one and it has two little ridges on both sides. And this one fits right over the cover that I installed in the last video. And it just slides onto the tower like that. And then you have to make sure you line the holes up with the shift uh, transmission cover right here and then you use the pan head screws and that will tighten down this whole entire assembly line up all the holes so the holes line up with the retainer ring the boot and they go the holes line up with the cover and now just screw in the four pan head screws and just start in one corner and work yourself around This is what the found product looks like. All the bolts lined up, the pan screws are fully shredded in, the boot is installed properly with the retainer ring holding it all together. And now we'll get on with the transfer case boots. I have now taken you guys over to the transfer case shift levers and both the knobs are off. And now we have to install the boots first and then the retaining ring. As you can see, this boot is already angled in a one direction, and I would angle this so it lines up with the angle of the levers already. As you can see, they're not perfectly straight. And these leather boots, the seam will be facing towards you guys when you are driving. And it just slides on to the levers from the top. Make sure to push the two levers together because it's hard to get on the uh, boot here and retaining ring because the levers are kind of spread apart from each other and it just slides on. Kind of push it down all the way so it's kind of against the uh, tub and now with the retaining ring make sure it's orientated in the correct position as you can see there's just a little lip right here and you want this lip 
facing upwards and towards the transmission floor cover. And it's the same process as the boots, just squeeze together the two levers and push it through the pole. Now it's the same process, just line up your pan head screws through the retaining ring and through the boot and then it threads into the tub and then one bolt will thread into the transmission floor cover. Now thread on the four pan screws as same as we did for the transmission retainer ring. I would suggest using one of these uh, tools so you can uh, line up the uh, holes. Thread on the uh, transmission shift tower knob. And the same goes with your transfer case shift levers. There's one, and there is number two. And that is how you properly install the shift lever boots and retainer rings onto the transmission and transfer case shift levers.